Yo. Yo. Still down to ride this weekend? Hell yeah, man, I'm on. Yo, question, what size board are you gonna ride? I'm actually riding a 153, but it's one of those boards that it's a 153, but it rides like a 158. The fuck does that mean? Um, I don't know. I hate to say it, man, but you know what it sounds like? What does it sound like? I ride a 153, but it rides like a 158, you know. I'm sorry, what are you implying? Also, why are you calling me? We're in the same garage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanna get the Rari, but I know I need some time. Switch the green roll, shut the light. Welcome to Last Resort with Stan, your first and last resort for snowboard news. Let's get started because winter is moving faster than this peanut-shaped bus is headed for Mr. Peanut's head. No, the real reason I want to get started quickly is I'm not sure how much time we have, okay? After Sage Kotzenberg won X Games Real Snow, I think this is the last piece of hardware that he needs. And if he touches all of these medals to his hands, I half of snowboarding might disappear, okay? I mean, has anyone brought to attention the fact that Sage could grow to look like Thanos? Let's talk real snow. Let me get this straight, X Games. You take away the one thing the street kids had. I'm just saying that to get a rise. Honestly, I thought that this class of real snowers was refreshing. So many less building flips, you know? You had Sage out there kind of doing it for the backcountry. Dusty Henriksen stepping into the streets for the first time. You had Kevin Backstrom kind of holding it down for the resorts. And everyone else was kind of an amalgamation of those three things. See this chart that I made. I don't know what else to say about Real Snow, frankly, other than what I say every year, which is that it is a contest to judge video parts. Video parts, of course, created as something to not be a contest. So I don't know. Catch 22? Are you not entertained? Yes. Loudest content of the month. Normally a shoe in for Lucas Magoon weed content. This month it's actually POV drone footage from Natural Selection that no one asked for versus the entirety of Dingo's bomb hole. And you fall, you fall, you fall, you hit rock bottom. You have an idea. Stop! Stop! Please, don't do anything, please stop! Or as one unnamed source put it, a complete war on silence. Also a contest that could be made between the bomb hole and natural selection, which was harder to follow, Lucas Magoon's storyline or the storyline of the Canada stop. As a storm hit Denver that was plotted to be the storm of the winter, a full-on Hunger Games effect took place in Denver. Am I gonna be able to make a funnier joke than Spencer Schubert made memes? No, I'm not, okay? But at least know this, street kids. The person who had the hardest time on a stair set all month was Joe Biden getting into that fucking plane. Dust box check-in, I love the dust box, of course, but you know, I'm worried about the youth. It just seems like they're always on grass. Just gotta give a general shout out to Christian Connors for bringing new light to the phrase cross court. And now, meanwhile at Big Bear. Oh. That literally could have been seven other clips. I just happened to fall on this one. I think we can keep this segment going for the rest of time. General shout out to Absolute Park Spring Battle for bringing us this 540 contest, okay? I haven't been this excited about a five since Lucas Magoon taught me how to play CeeLo in the bomb hole. Yes, more Lucas Magoon bomb hole jokes. I don't know how many we'll have. We're just starting. Spring is pond skim season, but has it gone too far? More importantly, I have a question though. Is this how wakeboarders felt when we started using winches? Fucking plot twist. I saw a heavenly Switch 50 that looks like it came from above. And by above, I mean literally it came from Canada, so we're cool. I know last episode we were kind of getting into it, but hey, I'm here for you. Anyone else worried and alarmed by the amount of insane tricks Marcus Cleveland did for Instagram because his fans asked him to? This would be like if you saw Beyonce at a karaoke bar and you just got to yell at her free bird until she did it. Lucas Magoon's comeback, okay? It's not so much that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. The light is in the tunnel at Bear and it's doing a fucking Rutland strong arm shiver and I love it. Dan Davis, love this double grab. Most importantly, thank you for doing it on like a pow jump and not a park jump. It's the little things, okay? Speaking of, Pat Bergner, I can't think of a funnier joke than cheap thinker, okay? Sometimes you have to export your jokes. Instagram thought of it first. This is fucking hilarious. And sad. Can we all just start referring to Zoe Sadowski-Sinata as the rescuer from Down Under? 
Are we allowed to say down under if it's Kiwi? Is that not sweet as? I don't know how this works. Saw a video of a mountain bike slash skiing combination, which is everything I love, if you know me. So here is a video representation of what every brain cell in my brain did when I saw this video. Big shout out to the Japanese homie Shogo, okay? Homie, this took a lot of stones. I mean that literally and I mean that figuratively. There are a lot of stones that you landed on. Aero Angela. Boom, baby. Whoa. Okay. We like. All right. This Nolly 270 was so on the nose because it was so off the nose. You know how I get about Nollies. Sometimes I don't think it's real. This one's real. I'm in Aspen. This is Little Mike. Big energy. Let's go. I'm joined by Australian sensation Valentino. Valentino, two or false. You are just waiting for the day where you can kick Scotty James' ass. True. Boom! Dust box. Overrated or underrated? Dust box. Dust box? Yeah. What the fuck is the dust box? I'm with Annika Morgan. Annika, true or false? Every time we think Ethan has officially slipped off into nowhere, he does something insane. True. I knew it. I'm joined with Henry Carlisle. Henrik, can I get a quick bark? Er, 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 er. Thank you. Mark Craven. Nope. Coco, with you and Mason and Aspen, would you say would you say it's safe to say there's some hoes in this house? Cue the Cardi B. I saw this video of a homie going pre-grab on the jumps in Europe, and I honestly just want to stomp this out before it gets too far. I'm sorry, I'm not here for the pre-grab. And every time I say some shit like this, people are like. Snowboarding is about self-expression and it's supposed to be what people want and who are you to say? You know what? Okay, stop. Because if we let shit like this and we got that idiot fucking Buckhouse thinking that this is a real fucking trick. I'm Jonathan Buckhouse and this is my YouTube channel. You got convincing the population that this is a thing people should do and then in five years you're going into your slope style run and you got to fucking pre-grab the thing all because I kept my mouth shut, okay? And now the blood's on your hands. Thanks a lot, you. I'd be remiss if I just didn't quickly appreciate 34 Mignon again, okay? I don't really have a joke or anything to say. I just wanted, she's incredible. Not sure where you should snowmobile this spring? Feeling stumped? Now you know how this guy feels. Okay, over the last couple years, I've been following the contest a lot more. I nerd out on it. I like it, okay? It's fun to get to know the aspects of this thing. This month, what do we cover? Well, innovative maneuver from Lion Farrell, the butt redirect. At the world champs, we saw Judd Henkis really you know, swinging for the fences. And finally, looks like Sean White's bringing back the 14. And is he grabbing boot? I don't know, inconclusive. Stance is still fucked though. Speaking of contests, I also did see an airbag clip I liked. I gotta say, Vans, your guerrilla marketing is next level, okay? Your marketing for the movie Evergreen just goes above and beyond anything I could have imagined, okay? Did you guys get Nathan for you um, to whip something up? I'm Stan, and I think I'm hilarious with this stupid ass mic. Stan, have you ever even hit a fucking airbag? He's hitting the wrong type of pin that he needs to be really hitting. He should be writing down shit and not smoking shit. Oh, God! Oh. Henry, can I get like a quick it. part? Thank you. Every time I come to Aspen, I feel like I've just had sex with a girl that was stronger than me. <laughs> it's just like every time I come, I have a nosebleed. I'm just... Yeah. Talking to the guy in the track pants at table one. <laughs>